Hey guys, welcome to 9255 Swallow Drive here in Doheny Estates, better known as the Bird Streets, one of the most sought after communities in West Hollywood, California. Today, my assistant and I, Cassandra, are gonna be showing you this baller pad, letting you guys see what $23 million can get you in Los Angeles, California. So we're gonna go take a tour really quick before my client arrives. Let's go check it out. So here we are in the master suite. As you can see, this property has a very nice open master with, with, pocket, with pocket windows that lead out into a nice terrace where you can get a lot of nice sunshine. Enjoy this beautiful weather here in Los Angeles, California with views overlooking the Sunset Strip in West Hollywood, California. You know, one of the things I like about this property is the master closet. It has a nice boutique style feel, very open. You got your own kitchen, which is right off the mattress master, which is great. You don't even have to go downstairs. You can wake up straight out of bed, make yourself a nice espresso, coffee. You want to heat up your breakfast, you got the ability to do so. All of the upgraded options has to be expected for a $23 million state. Tell me, don't you know? Don't now, it's a little tight in here, but I think we're gonna all fit just fine. So we're gonna go down to the first floor. And then we'll finish showing you guys the main level. Here we go. A little slow. Okay. <laughs> hey. Elevator in there. All that matters is that that door opens when we get down hey. to, to, to hey. the first floor. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're stepping out into the game room. I call it the rec area. And as you can see here, we've got a pool table. So for those Better yet, no pool sharks. And notice we also have the sharks to go with the pool table. See if I still got it, I can break these balls. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Not bad. All you West Coast people, what do you guys know about a little tangeray? Sipping on a little gin and juice. <laughs> All right, we've got your very own in-home theater. So if you want to sit and watch some of your favorite flicks and movies, this is a phenomenal theater. Then over here, you've got your very own cigar room. So one can come in after a long, hard day's work and enjoy a nice Cuban cigar. Now let's head over and check out the pool area, the spa. Really nice high series. We've got a nice meditation, Pilates, relaxation room, which connects to the spa, which offers a dry sauna. We got a bathroom here. We're going to sweat out those stressful days. Perfect spot. Then we got two showers, so after you're done getting a nice workout in or swim, you can shower here. And of course, this is my favorite, which I really enjoy because I'm a swimmer, and each time I get an opportunity to swim, I'm all over. It. So you've got your actual stationary heat race. That one, which is really against the current. I'm all for that. Alright, so this property features seven bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and it's actually 12,800 square feet with the price tag of $23 million. So here we are, one of the two guest rooms that's down here on the lower level. Each bedroom comes with a full bathroom as well. 
You can see it was the end of the last bedroom, has a lot of storage space and can accommodate a family of six or more. And this is my favorite. You know, you can come sit here and meditate and uh, really just sit and chill with the shorts. I'm just gonna follow you. All right, guys, I'm kind of killing some time here waiting for my client to arrive. I got about 10 minutes before he, he gets here. Today, I'm gonna help my client come out. I'm hoping he may like this property, but at the same time, I'm also working a strategy where I use this as a way to kind of prospect. You know, you just never know how a deal might come together. I gotta get back uh, and get prepared for my client, so I'll be back and uh, we'll be touching on the rest of the things that this property has to offer later in the show. All right, guys, welcome to this episode of the All In Podcast. I'm your host, Rod Watson, and I'm here with special guest, NBA champion, two-time All-Star, 14 years in the league, Karan Butler. Thank you for coming out today and uh, being willing to, you know, share your story with us today and allow me to kind of, you know, get into some of the backstory and some of the things you currently have going on post your NBA career. I appreciate it, brother. Growing up as a kid. You know, was there a particular player that inspired, that inspired you and that you modeled your game after? Because, you know, when I watched you play, I saw, you know, a lot of similarities where there was a little bit of Mike, a little Kobe, you know, you know, aggressive style slash and attack type player, but efficient as well, too. Yeah, uh, Big Dog Robinson was my favorite player. You know, um, I used to love watching him. I actually committed to the University of Purdue before electing to, you know, retreat yeah. that, uh, pull pull out and go to the University of Connecticut. But, you know, that was someone that I just always modeled my game after. Where did you gain your business acumen and, and that passion to not only just say, I want to be rich, but I want to build wealth? You know, watching my family, you know, migrate from the South, my grandmother working in cotton fields, and she's always tell me, like, as a young, as a young boy, you know, baby, get your own. Yeah. Don't work for nobody, get your own. And when you're able to get it, you know, this is what you do with it. You get some you get some land, you buy this, you buy that, and you make sure that you're owner and that you're in control of your destiny. And I watched her and my mom, you know, work at Ocean Spray, which is great job opportunities, J.I.K.'s factory. Worked on assembly lines doing, you know, hard manual labor for years. And then, you know, just busting the tail, you know, not to really have nothing but a 401k to pull from. Yeah. And not that that's a bad thing, but I wanted to make sure I maximized the space that I was in. And when I was able to be in a position to make millions of dollars doing something that I love, I was just like, man, you know, I'm going to 
start thinking from a business standpoint and everything that I do is going to be strategic. I always wanted to be an owner. I started buying properties. I always, and I paid attention to what I was doing and I understood that the game of basketball, at some point the air will go out that ball. Correct. So I wanted to put myself in position while active, Correct. you know, to already have some momentum into the next space and phase of my life. Can you talk to me about when you get into investments, how has real estate helped shape your, your overall portfolio is from the standpoint of building wealth? And why is it important for players? And this is just my opinion. I think it is very important, important for players to consider real estate as a investment vehicle more so than ever before. But why would you say it's important from your own experience? And I looked at my portfolio and some of the things that I wanted to do and generate cash flow, and I look at it from a quarterly standpoint, mm -hmm. and um, I'm like, man, if I really want to make big allocation dollars and get some real cash flow, what we call mailbox money, I got to get into certain things, certain vehicles that's going to, you know, give me a return higher than you know my bank that's my money that's sitting in, in the, the bank. bank or you know, there. you know, six yeah. to eight percent. That's cool, and you know, it's, it's it's low risk and it's just sitting there, but. How can I get some ownership? How can I get some equity and some spaces? And, you know, I sat down with Rob Skinner and he was just like, man, we need to get into this this space of real estate. We need to go over here, you know, where it's, you know, it's a TIF fund, it's an opportunity zone, and you can get, you know, a couple of these properties, exactly. you know, at the low end and, you know, you can flip them and, you know, this can create, generate this type of cash flow. And not only that, you'll be, you know, serving uh, an unbelievable uh, service to the community because you'll be giving the whole community a facelift. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, you know, if I can get in these type of projects uh, and, and make so much more Correct. Um, from a cash flow standpoint, it made a lot of sense for me. Well, man, it's been an honor, you know, and a privilege also to, to be able to have this opportunity to sit with you and ask you these questions and get your perspective. Uh, and also a blessing to be able to have the relationship. And obviously I think a lot of those far and near would agree you are an inspiration. Thanks. And uh, I think you set the standard of, of what we all should strive for. And, and you know, as, as far as being human beings and humanity and having compassion for others and doing the best that you can and using your platform to impact others' lives. So I thank you for the impact you've had on my life and I really do appreciate it. Um, and I wish you more success as you continue in your endeavors because you're just getting started and you're building the Butler Empire and it's something I think that when we look back 10, 15, 20 years from now, a lot of athletes get talked about the things they do on the court. I truly believe you will be talked about about the body of work that you've done off the court. So I want to commend Appreciate you on you that. Can. Thank you for coming on today. And guys, this ends the All In Podcast with Karan Butler. And until next time, keep winning. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this tour here at this $23 million West Hollywood Estate in the Burr Streets of Los Angeles, California. I'm about to hop in the pool and get a few laps in. Just wrapped up my interview and project tour with my client, Karan Butler. You guys keep hustling, and until next time, keep winning.